in today's episode, we're going to be seeing if we can fit these coils on this Jeep. See if there's any fluid underneath. I don't really see any transmission fluid leaks. And yesterday we did drive it a little bit. If you want to get on my wife's YouTube channel, you can see us driving the Jeep around. And we didn't have any fluid leaks, believe it or not. It ran good. Now, just to be clear, we do have the full acceleration capabilities that we used to. So now I can turn around here. We're gonna go in the grass a little bit because we have a Jeep and you know, we can just go wherever we want. But essentially what was happening is the Jeep was not accelerating over 20 miles an hour and it was not shifting and it was just maxing out at 2000 RPM and then just like topping out and that was it. But now it seems to be accelerating and shifting and driving and all that good stuff. Vink. What up, Vink? Where you going, bro? Are oh, you just petting a board? Like yeah, that's it. a high quality pin right there. Yup. Now, give him a whack. Now, I don't know how easy this is gonna go back in, but this is supposed to give it like two inches of lift. Here's the one that just came out. And here's an F-350 coil off of a 2013 King Ranch. Basically what we're gonna try, I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna try to put this coil up under the front of that thing and hopefully it'll give it, um, I don't know what, what do you think that is, like two inches of lift maybe? Yeah. Which would be just big enough to fit like 33s under it. It's gonna be fun. All right, so uh, update, we gave up. These things are stupid, they don't okay, fit. You... I don't know who told us that these would fit, but they don't. So we put the old one back on, ratcheted everything back down. Instead, we're not gonna do hard projects anymore because that stuff's overrated. <laughs> we're just gonna bedazzle the <laughs> dull car and call it a day. But in all seriousness, I do not want to completely drop the axle and take apart everything because this stuff is a little bit <laughs> janked up as it is. So the front coil swap, failed. We tried for about three hours and I could not get the axle alone. We dropped the front sway bar, the inner and outer tie rod ends. We dropped all kinds of stuff except for the entire axle itself with the upper and lower control arm. And we just could not get it to go in at all. I'm sure that if you dropped the upper and lower control arms and all that stuff and you completely separated the axle, you could probably make it work but we don't have the time for that today anyways. So we just buttoned it back up and we're just gonna use it on the trail this weekend the way that it is on stock suspension. But we got the exhaust muffler cut out. Keep in mind, for all you exhaust police out there, this is off-road use only. Right, Thives? Yeah. Self-tapping screws. Number one ingredient. Oh, that's snug, bro. Snug as a bug on a rug. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Now do the other side, it's cold. Dude, that actually pulls so tight in there. Let's we'll see them chompers, brah. Oh yeah, she's mint. Beautiful work, man. What can I say? I thought about opening an exhaust shop, honestly. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that, but it looks good.
Fencing. Yeah, I took one of these and just cut it. And just stuck it up in there. It's actually almost the exact same size of the exhaust coming down off the engine. So the one end I cut, it actually went up in the exhaust, and it was how tight was it, guys? I mean, it was. It was, I mean, like it was super. T it was hard to get in there, but that was up towards the side, close to the engine. Now the back side, where it came out of the muffler, it was a little bit of a bigger size, so the exhaust kind of like it's like in there and it's screwed in. But there's like an eighth of an inch gap around the exhaust, the exhaust, the fence post. But it, it gets it away from the cab. It's actually not bad in the cab at all. Get in the cab. Let's see how bad it is. I'll tell you what is bad is this door panel. Ready? See, it's not. It's no, not. I told you, it's, it, it's way quieter than it was. Yeah, it doesn't vibrate on the inside of the cab. I'm not gonna do any donuts here because I know that eventually I'm gonna nail that truck. Yeah. <laughs> it just got it. painted. Just try it back here. Reagan doesn't have to know. She can definitely hear it from inside. You hear that? Definitely just a trail pickle. Ooh. If I floored it right here, we could totally just roll it down in there. Yeah, that's a great idea. This thing is so clunky, bro. Do you hear it? What is this thing that keeps blinking down here? I don't know. Is this something about Saturday, January 7th? It's definitely not January 7th, and it's or definitely not a Saturday, yeah. and it's definitely not 703. I think when I had my Hellcat, let's see if it launches the same. That just made it like 52 miles an hour. I didn't even make it to 60. This thing definitely feels like it's gonna fall apart at any minute. Oh my gosh. That's the best part about it. <laughs> that's, that's the worst part. It's the best and worst part about it. Yeah, don't fool. You hear it backfire, it's like pop -pop. The final test. It definitely sounds like a Hellcat. The pressure's good, coolant's good. Okay, nothing's ever heated yet, so we're gonna see if we can change that. We're gonna test doing a burnout, mostly so you can hear the exhaust. She tore it up. Did both spin or just one? I can see the other side. I think just one. You can see the road. Figures, piece of junk. It's shifting gears just fine now. Really? It just needed a little work. That's all. Yeah. Just need it broke in. That was a problem. Not broken, but broke in. <laughs> it's already been broken plenty of times. He's like, oh, it's a super reliable vehicle. It's already broke five times since I've had it. It's been like three days. He never had a flaw. Really? No, never. Don't forget my hazard done this whole time. I mean, this thing is kind of a hazard all the time. <laughs> Notice the freaking suspension is like so crooked in the front. It's like the vehicle literally drives like this. Like it's so bad. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing like the shock's blown or something over there. Or I don't want to invest so much money into this thing because I know it's a gem, but it's also a Jeep. Could break again anyway. That is going to be it for the video with the Jeep today. But before I end this video and leave you guys one last time, um, if you want 10x entries towards winning this trip plus $5,000 cash, it's this simple to enter to win this truck. You go to our site, lmpgear.com, you select any product off the store or products if you want multiple, and you check out and you're automatically entered times 10 right now. So 
If you want to get that deal, it ends on January 25th, which I believe is today. So go to lmpgear.com, check out, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win this truck plus $5,000. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video.